Hi everyone and welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Nina and Happy New Year to you all watching the channel. Thank you so much for all of your support last year, for subscribing to the channel, for continuously showing your love and uh, yeah, just uh, sticking with us. Um, here's to another year uh, with lots of plans for you and hopefully uh, lots more to come. So obviously the transfer window has kick-started. I mean, I can't believe that it is already the January transfer window, but of course uh, clubs are now back in business. Everyone's got their eyes on their prospective targets and we know that Chelsea are never short of being very involved in transfer windows, uh, particularly in recent uh, years and so I don't expect it's going to be any different. Obviously the fact that it's a January transfer window means a little bit less going on perhaps but Equally, we know that there's uh, things we need to address, uh, players that might be going and uh, yeah, potentially some incomings as well. But today's video is going to be in particular about Conor Gallagher because we have received some news that those, um, well, speculations around him leaving Chelsea in January uh, have maybe been put to bed and he is at least going to stay until summer. Um, obviously, we'll see how that unfolds, but uh, for the time being, I like to believe that this is true. Now, let me know in the comments down below, guys, where you stand with Conor Gallagher, because this is a player that has divided opinion across our fan base for the longest time, and I absolutely understand why. You know, in summer, I keep repeating, I probably wouldn't have been you know, so against selling Conor Gallagher because, you know, he was nothing more than a squad player at best, bringing, like, bringing him on as a substitute um, where we might have needed, but we have seen him transition into a first teamer, and not only that, but one that reps the captain armbands, one that will give you uh, a good performance every time he plays, and will put 100% effort. He's become Pochettino's favourite, he's become a lot of fans' his favourite, and, you know, wherever you stand, you can't deny that he has been a crucial player to Chelsea this season, thus far. You know, he's had four assists, but I think it goes beyond uh, what his stats are. You know, I think it's so much more than what he offered last season in terms of pressing, running around. I think he's improved technically on the ball as well. And he has become a little bit more creative. So all of that shows me that he is a player that's improving. And above all, he loves Chelsea and he wants to be at Chelsea. Now, guys, some of you might say that, you know, that's the bare minimum. But let me remind you that last season we had so many players in our squad that just didn't want to be there, just didn't want to be playing at Chelsea. And we expected them to grind out results for us. How was that ever going to happen? I still firmly believe that you need to have players that, you know, have the club's best interests at heart, want to be here, and Conor Gallagher does. Now, obviously, he's got uh, its 18 months on his contract left, and um, it's normal that we're obviously reassessing his options. Um, obviously, looking at a financial uh, perspective, he is a pure profit player because he's homegrown you know, he's still young and you can make a, a good amount of money off him if we would sell him. But that's looking financially. If we look aside from that, if we look at what he offers for the, the team, yes, I absolutely agree that there's better players than Conor Gallagher out there. However, in the time where players like Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez are maybe up and down, not finding their feet necessarily, particularly in a partnership together. You know, Lavia out and injured and Ugachukwu out and injured. And we have only had Conor Gallagher as our number one sort of reliable, fit and available midfielder. And I just think in today's age in football where, you know, injuries are becoming a lot more common, you know, we've seen that a lot of Premier League clubs this season have been played with uh, first teamers injured and key players out. It's been obviously a reoccurring issue. And I just stand behind the fact that, you know, availability it's just such a good ability. Was that the phrase? Was that the quote? Or no, ability. Oh, guys, got this so wrong. But availability is your best ability, basically. Like, we've all known that Reese James is a world class player and he is so important to Chelsea, but he never offers more availability in a season than, you know, than we, than we need. And 
what what use is that you know it's it's great like he's amazing and it's obviously not his fault he's injured but we suffer when he's not there and you feel the repercussions on the team you know conor gallagher has managed to stay fit you know he's um touch wood not picked up any injuries and i just think that's so important because you can see the consistency there you know when a player consistently plays he can consistently deliver good performances bar one or two games this season i think he has been yeah maintaining a certain level there so i would not sell him i mean it's just as simple as that and i think if the club were to sell him then obviously look i get that we need to be making money but at the same time we have other players that we can make that money off if that makes sense and particularly selling him to tottenham that would be a whole another problem like that would be completely outrageous so yeah look there's loads of things to consider here and I am trying to understand both sides to it. But Pochettino is adamant that he doesn't want Conor Gallagher to go. You know, he has time and time again come out publicly and said that Conor is important to the squad. You know, he's basically made him captain out in uh, Reese James's absence. And yeah, I mean, I will repeat myself on this note, but he has been offering consistency, which at Chelsea nowadays is very rare. So it should be valued where it is offered. So of course, guys, let me know in the comments down below what your thought, your thoughts are, where you stand with Conor Gallagher. Look, summertime come maybe things might have improved in our midfield maybe we will have that spark now where things are you know holding up much better and hopefully Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez will find their partnership that we have so longed for and uh yeah and hopefully things will be much better and then maybe you know uh maybe things might change at that point but right now we aren't in a position to cut off our only consistency in that midfield in my opinion so yeah that's just where i stand and uh Basically, considering the fact that we can make money off, you know, like obviously Matson um, might potentially go out on loan uh, to Dortmund. Um, you know, then you've got obviously Trevor Chalaba, who now for a long time has been um, in talks to, to be leaving as well. That's another homegrown player that you will make money off. Breuer is a question mark. And to be fair, I honestly don't believe we will sell Breuer in January because, I mean, then we are, well, I say that, but if we do actually go in for a striker, a prolific striker, then you're looking at another player there that you could, um, yeah, a homegrown player that you could lend out or sell. So, um, yeah, again, there's lots of things to consider here, but when we are talking about strikers, are Nicholas Jackson and Armando Brewer long-term striker options at Chelsea? I don't think so. And look, there is potential there, 100%, but I just don't think it's, uh, it's what Chelsea needs long-term. We need to be getting that striker that's going to bag you the goals, that's going to be prolific and clinical. And I don't really want any if, buts or maybes. I don't really want another player that's coming in coming off the back of a one really good season um, where they have uh, been, you know, making a difference and they've had their sort of hot moment and then just calling down at Chelsea and it all fizzling out. You know, we've had enough of those in the past. So I just really want us to go in um, for someone that, yeah, is going to get those goals. Obviously, that's a big question mark. It's not exactly like the market is stacked up with um, clinical goal scorers, particularly ones that are proven in the Premier League. You know, that's a very thin um, sort of list there too. So, you know, there's a lot of questions. There really is a lot of questions. But I just think most importantly, we need to, uh, yeah, do business in a good way where we do make money and we equally address the areas that we need to. You know, there's a lot of talks about Elise as well. I mean, we were in talks for Elise for the longest time. He punished us when Crystal Palace came to play us at Stamford Bridge. Um, what a player as well. I mean, you know, his quality's there. It goes without saying um, how good Elise has been. Um, yeah, I mean, who's saying no? But yeah. Anyways, guys, though, let me know in the comments, as always, if you agree or disagree with anything I have said in this video. What your thoughts are? Would you keep sell Conor Gallagher? Where you stand with him? Uh, who the club should go in for this uh, January transfer window? Oh, my God. It's literally a year since we would have signed Enzo Fernandez. Like, that's actually amazing you know bringing him in and breaking the transfer record fees on transfer deadline day yeah there you go guys whether chelsea's going to be in the headlines of transfers again 
we will find out. We do like to, to be active. We do like to be in the headlines. We like to cause drama. So I don't know if I'd expect anything less. But yeah, guys, subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV if you haven't done so already. Obviously, check out my personal channel, Nina's Chelsea Corner. I've got more content up over there. Like this video and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, guys.